<laughs> so, you guys wanted me to do a Joker review. Um, I thought I could turn this off, but it looks like I can't. So you get to see the Joker face the entire time without the lips moving. Um, <clears throat> spoiler free, the Joker was amazing, but it is not for everyone. Um, absolutely not for everyone. Uh, it, it is a really cerebral take on the descent into madness, as well as society's broken view of things. Um, there are lots of things in it that most people wouldn't resound with much at all. Um, but the worst and best part of the movie is it's really relatable to a lot of us. To a lot of people who are constantly depressed, the mentally ill, the downtrodden, the those of us that just push through life to no end. And, you know, as as a child growing up, I really thought to myself, how could people um, like follow like supervillains in, in a way, like almost reverently, like like a religious leader almost. And I have to say, like this movie really kind of shows how um, that that's actually possible, and it, it's kind of sad to say the least, that it takes a, you know, the society to break as much as it does to happen. Um, if you are easily uh, persuaded by mental illness in any way, shape, or form, I would advise you not to go see this movie. Um, I can understand the the media craze of people saying they were going to shoot up the theaters afterwards because they didn't really understand the the principle of the movie. Um, they thought that it was going to cause a bigger impact than what it is. Though, don't get me wrong, it has a great message about mental illness, but it's fundamentally grounded in a comic book universe almost. Though, though there are you could really take it out of the comic book universe and still make it a good movie. Some of the things, if you are a comic book buff, though, and you like this type of thing, you will see very little pieces of homage to lots of other um, Batman movies involving Joker, um, involving comic books with Joker in it, certain things that have happened in the comic books. Um, he, the director and writer really tread a very thin thin line um, on which aspects of the comics as well as the <clears throat> cartoons and other movies have portrayed that really make the Joker. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix does an amazing job. <clears throat> like, hardcore amazing job. Um, probably, like, I would say Oscar. Like, but that's just me. A lot of people are also saying the same thing. I would, I would assume that he should be um, Oscar worthy after this movie, just what he's done. Um, my favorite movie of his to date. Um, so this year, uh, it is my number one pick so far. Um, right after that, which was my number one pick, Battle Angel Alita, has been moved to number two. If you haven't seen that yet, I would advise you to do that as well. But right now, Joker is it. Check it out and really think about it. Really really think about it. All right, guys. Have a good time. Remember, always be kind to each other, and I will see you on my next video.